Okay, now. I see what you did there, Let's move on now. And talk about, again, your Nazi. I mean, when we heard the story that he suffered that injury, you know how difficult it is to actually recover from it. But for him now, it's kind of joyful knowing that today is his birthday and also he had a successful surgery and of course at the end of the day he's thanking everyone involved you know right. in his recovery process and all that he hopes to be back soon but Ty, as you mentioned yesterday four to six months mm. i mean that's the recovery uh, period for that kind of injury so nation's cup may just be ruled out mm. but what kind of miracle will happen you know for him to get out of it early and be ready for nation's cup i all doubt right. yeah we're we'll praying for a christmas miracle here yeah, definitely. It will, be, it will take a minor miracle uh, for again to... A major it, one, not a minor. Major, as a matter of fact, uh, for Onazi to uh, return ahead of schedule uh, from this serious injuries. Achilles injuries are uh, one yeah. of the most serious in, uh, in, any, uh, in football. Uh, as a matter of fact, you talk about the AC anterior cruciate ligaments, you talk about the Achilles uh, injury as well. So terrible injuries that footballers don't ever want to suffer. But if it happens... It happens, and you just have to try and recover for it. Thankfully, thanks to advancements in uh, medicine and, uh, and uh, science and technology, a lot of these injuries can be handled, and you can actually make a full recovery. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for uh, for again on Nazi uh, yeah. today. And that's him there well, with thumbs up, yeah. double thumbs up, <laughs> surgery a success. Yeah. I can't wait to be back. Absolutely, and he says thank you all for your prayers and support. The surgery was perfect, and I'm feeling much better. Big awesome. thanks to the president. Uh, the previous picture you had on Instagram page, he, po he actually posed with, you know, the president of the club. He said he was with him for more than 10 hours. Mm. And also, he was given a birthday surprise. So God bless you all. I will be back soon by his grace. We're all praying for your quick recovery here right. on Nazi because definitely we would need all the players that we can get our hands on for the Nations Cup. Knowing that he said playing so well at the club, Regularly scored exactly. a goal, made an assist, or oh, he's been fantastic, you know, in a couple of weeks. And now this one coming up. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And uh, um, it's come at a very wrong time for Nazi yeah. as well. So his place in the Super Eagles has been in doubt uh, in the last uh, few games. And uh, a lot of fans been on his case as well. Then he's gone back to his club. He's overcome the little injury he had in the past. He's starting to play. And, and this injury pops up and uh, to slow him down. But like we always say, um, you know, it, it's all about uh, showing character and showing that uh, will to recover from serious injuries like this. So, again, Yonazi, we wish you all the best as you try to recover uh, from that injury. You're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. Shola Rogers, uh, sports journalist extraordinary, joins us now to uh, talk about a whole lot. Uh, we're going to talk about Liverpool. Shola, good morning. Merry Christmas and Thank you for making our time to come on the show on this beautiful day. Uh, the pleasure is actually mine. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas, Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's just uh, let's cut to the chase now. Uh, before you came in, we were talking about uh, Liverpool, how uh, they're on top of the league at uh, Christmas and they're in the driving seat uh, to win the Premier League. Yes, uh, and of course, uh, there's this uh, start out there. The last 10 years, everybody that's been at the top of the league at this time went on to win it except for Liverpool <laughs> a few years ago yeah. and they are at the top again so people are hoping that they can buck the trend and really um, you know get to win mm. because they've played like champions already they, have. they deserve to be where they are right. they've had tough games they've had easy games they've had everything all they've had injuries but through it all Liverpool has shown us that yes they are supposed to be where they are Mm. Okay. Interesting. And they're yeah. unbeaten as well, too. I mean, what, what do you want? That? Yeah, I'm actually one of the few people that don't get uh, carried away by all these unbeaten Records. things. Okay. I don't think they are real like that because no team will ever go unbeaten. You always get yours. Apart from the invincibles. And of course, and but they still got it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, they got it. Nine. <laughs> they got it. Um, apart from Kano Pillars that went almost yeah. 12 years or so unbeaten at home. And everything, they still got it anyway. So, okay. bottom line is that I'm, I'm happy for them and mm. I'm really excited about the next couple of days because we're going to see about three, four games. Liverpool and Jurgen Club definitely open for business uh, when it transfer window opens uh, in January. Let's move on with the show now. Let's talk about the 2018 uh, Sports in Nigeria in 2018. Uh, yes. Shola, um, before you came on, Cecilia was talking about the Minister uh, Solomon Dalong rating uh, 2018. Uh, uh, quite good uh, for Nigeria. I know you have your own uh, opinion 
uh, about that. But before we get into Cecilia, yeah. um, we should go ahead and listen to listen the minister. Listen to him, yeah, talking about well, how satisfied he is with the National Sports Festival. And all, not just that, and also the maintenance culture that we really don't have in Nigeria. And if I was to actually make sure that where the National Stadium must be ready and hosting games before he leaves office. I'm talking about the one in Lagos. <laughs> Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports, it's good to have you join us for this interview. It's a pleasure, Austin. Awesome. Let's begin with what has just ended the 19th edition of the National Sports Festival. How much of a success was it? Indeed, I feel not only satisfied, but fulfilled. To be honest, I underestimated the successes of the National Sports Festival until when it started. But I was moving against the tide <laughs> because everything on was on my way to hosting the National Sports Festival. Funds, approvals came, funds were not released on time, the states were not even cooperating. I had to go to the National Economic Council to address the governors, to solicit for their understanding and support so that they can mobilize. I mean, at the dying minute, the, the Pamsa was saying, sir, it is nine days to the ceremony and a dime has not been released to us. But before then, I told him, I said, you see, I have very, very sound and grounded experience in sports. Money will not be released until at the dime minute. And if you don't have the initiative to be able to manage the program very well, it will always fail. So we have to source for funds and start implementing some of the necessary things that needed to be done before the commencement. And indeed, after the opening ceremony, I went to the stadium and I was a bit moody. Because I started reflecting and imagining what we have lost. When I see the degree of excitement, when I see the bonding among young people, the building of bridges. I mean, the political economy of the National Sports Festival itself, the volume of threat. There was no space that was left in packages A and B. Everywhere, people were displaying their 